better water industries. Protecting your water. The Century Flow Meter is designed to measure flow and pressure in situations with 0 to 100 PSI pressure and 4 to 28 GPM flow. This video will provide step-by-step -step instructions for the proper usage of the Century Flow Meter. Step 1. Flush a hydrant or hose bib near the pressure tank. Then connect the Century Flow Meter. This step is important because the flow meter is very sensitive to debris and sediment. Step 2. Open the hydrant or hose bib to maximum flow. Then partially close this ball valve to restrict the water flow. Now wait for the pump to kick in and when it does, record the pressure on this pressure gauge. This is your pump kick in pressure. Step 3. Open this ball valve to maximum flow and record the flow rate on the flow meter. Step 4. Close this ball valve and wait for the pump to stop. When it does, record the pressure on the pressure gauge. This is your pump kick out pressure. Step 5. Open the ball valve again and wait for the pump to kick in. With the pump running, close the ball valve until the pressure reading on the gauge is 30 psi. Then allow the water to flow for one minute at 30 psi. At that moment, record the flow rate. That flow rate is your service flow rate and indicates how much water is available for appliances, sprinklers, and water treatment equipment. Step six, with the pump running, restrict the flow through the ball valve slightly more until the pressure gauge reads 40 psi. Then allow water to flow through for one minute and at that moment record the flow rate. You see the difference between the 30 psi service flow rating we took a moment ago and this reading taken at 40 psi indicates the condition of the pump. The variance between the two readings should be less than 25%. Every Century flow meter comes with a complete set of instructions which also includes details for troubleshooting the most common issues. Thanks for watching.